Oh, ahí sí. Oye, Dios.
May please on our chip. Yes. Chip, uh, I'd like to mention item number two, your lordship. Lordship, this has come up for admission hearing, lordship. But however, today I have some difficulties, lordship. So if this matter can come up after two weeks, so lordship. Yes. <clears throat> item number two. Yes, lordship. You inform the other side? Lord. Yes, lordship. Lord. Miss. Luigi, no, learned counsel for the petitioner with consent from the other side, best for listing the matter after two weeks. Fair enough. May it please your lordship. Lordship, I'd like to your lordship. Lordship, may I pray this matter be listed after three weeks, your lordship? You were for? For the containers, all the containers. All the containers. Mm. Uh, Madam, you are for petitioner. Your good name? Uh, I'm standing on behalf of uh, Superman. Uh, Miss, oh, learned counsel for the petitioner. Present. Miss, your good name, please. S. S. Mary. S. Mary, learned government advocate. Yes. Appearing on behalf of all the respondents. Uh, based for listening to the matter after? After three weeks, you know. Three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. Fair, fair. Oh, right. My please, Lord. Yes. Lord, I'd like to mention item number 13, 14, and 18, Lord. The property this matter may come up after four weeks. Lord. After four weeks? Yes, Lord. See, one, one of, uh, item number 15 is AB. Yes, Lord. So, why two weeks? Because in item number 13, Lord, the respondent one is yet to appear, Lord. Maybe, but uh, there is direction of Supreme Court to dispose of the anticipated bail application within a short period. The council is waiting for it. hearing a However, the, the item number 13, the respondent one is yet to appear. So, how, how this uh, item number 13 is related to item number 15? Uh, uh, initial phase item number 14 was filed. Worship. However, with resident case, another FIR was filed. Hmm. Against the petitioner. Same related case, Your Lordship. Okay. Uh, your good name, please? Medo Vero, Lordship. Mr. Medo Vero, learned counsel for the petitioner. With consent from the other side, best for listing the matter after four weeks. Four weeks. Lordship, here uh, in item number 14, Yes. Uh, I'm appearing for respondent number one, Lordship. So, and in item number 13, I've been informed that uh, it's the same person, Lordship. Uh, yeah. So, I have been informed that he has been, he has accepted notice. Mm -hmm. But however, we are yet to receive yeah. instructions, Lordship, to okay. appear on his behalf. So, I will also be filing my, my Bakalat number within that time, Lordship. Within? Corresponding number one, Lordship. Within? Uh, four weeks. Within four weeks, Lordship. Within four weeks. Within four weeks. Uh, Ms. Lujeno, learned counsel for, uh, appearing on behalf of respondent number one. Uh, also, praise for granting our four weeks time. Pair is according to the load. Let's just list the matter after four weeks. Okay. There's an interim motion. Interim on which matter? Uh, 13 and 14. 14 and 15. Yes. Till next that uh, interim order, pass early cell continue. <coughs> I can make the mention item number 43, your lordship. On behalf of the PG, the people who are out of station. The prejudice will be made up of the show, your lordship. Item number? Item number 42. Mr. Medo Bedo, Learned Council, appearing on behalf of? Uh, PB Paul. Mr. PB Paul, Learned Council, for the petitioner. Press for listing the matter after? Three weeks, your lordship. Three weeks. There is an interim, your lordship. Till then, interim order, pass earlier, shall continue. Pledge May I please, my lord? Uh, lordship, I beg to mention item number 30 on behalf of my colleague KV, your lordship. Uh, he has some difficulties today. If this matter can be listed after one week, I have taken the consent from the other side, my lord. Item 30. Yes. 
Mr. N. Nangami, Learned Council, no, Learned PP, with consent from the other side, press for listening to the matter of the one week. Doctor, Your Worship, the item number 34 and 37. Yes. These two matters also, Your Worship, I men mentioned on behalf of my colleague KV Angami, Your Worship. If these matters can be listed after three weeks, uh, I have informed the other other side, Your Worship. No, okay. Mr. <coughs> Nangami, Learned Government Advocate, appearing on behalf of Mr. Kevin. Kevin Angami. Learned Council for the no, Learned uh, Government Advocate. With consent from the other side, baseball listing the matter after one three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Fair load. Is there any interim? No. No, no interim. Okay. Lordship, the 37, you are? Okay. Mr. Sidi Ronsom, Learned Council for the Appellant, present. Uh, may I please, my lord? Lordship, uh, I also beg to mention item number 25. Uh, here, my lord, uh, I'm, I'm appearing for the respondent number one. Uh, what happened is, Your Lordship, this uh, contempt petition is filed for non-compliance of the order dated 23 3 2023 passed in WPC 268 of 2022. Mm. Now, Your Lordship, the uh, state has uh, filed one IA uh, numbering as IA Civil 14 of 2024, mm. seeking some extension of time to comply with the order of this court passed in WPC 268 of 2022. Now, Your Lordship, the, this Honorable Court, Your Lordship, has disposed of this IA by an order dated 15 3 2024, mm. wherein the state respondent has given another six months' time to comply with the order of the court, Your Lordship, if I may be allowed to place the order, my Lord. No, therefore, Lily. what happened? Lily. Six months' time is yet to expire, Your Lordship. The order was passed only on 15 3 2024. And six months' time has been granted to the state respondent to comply with the order dated 23 3 2023. So, this matter will be listed only after expiry Expir of the six months' time. Yeah. If I may be allowed to place the order of the IA, Lord Chief. Mr. N. Ngami, Learned Council, appearing on behalf of the contemptors, uh, press for listing the matter after six months, Your Lordship, because they are six months. Yes. Okay. After six months. I'm deeply obliged, man. The pair having not been opposed by Miss. Hello. Deeply obliged, man. May it please, Your Lordship, I beg to mention item number five. Lordship, I pray that this matter come up next, next week on 2nd April. Your good name? Press Okira for respondent two. Ms. Sunso, Learned Council for the respondent number two. You will inform the other side, petitioner side. Yes. My Lord, I was hoping we could dispose it of today, but then, Lord, since the council is un unavailable, mm -hmm. it may be listed on the 9th, Lord. 9th, 9th of April. With consent from the other side, press for listing the matter after uh, on 9th, 9th of April. Fair a lot. Lord, Lord, there is an interim order. Till then, interim order pass earlier, shall continue. Mm -hmm. Yes. I may be given two weeks, uh, two weeks time in order to file my affidavit in reply. I will pray for a private respondent. You are for private respondent? Yes, ma'am. Number? Uh, 2345. What is your name? Okay, it's over now. Mr. Swenso, Learned Council for the respondent number two, three, four, and five. You inform the petitioner side? Uh, you are for the petitioner. Lordship, I may bring on bail Mr. S. Huck. S. Huck. With consent from the other side, press for listing the matter after? After two weeks. After two weeks. Lordship, there is also an interim. Till then, interim order pass earlier, sir. Continue. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, please, my lord. <laughs> Lordship, I beg to mention item one. I, on behalf of Ailimadishi Lordship, 
if the matter can come up to three weeks, Lordship. Thank you, sir, Lordship. Uh, uh, respondent number one and two. Yes, Lordship. Yes, madam. Uh, Lordship, uh, the respondent one and two, they are here to file the affidavit, Lordship, and they have been seeking time for more than uh, two years, Lordship. I pray that this may be the last time. For two years? Lordship, the petition has been filed since 20 July, Lordship. And they have been seeking time since then, Lordship. Yes. Lordship, I'm not in this case. I'm only mentioning on behalf of my learned friend, Lordship. I live at the okay, Mr. Santianger, learned counsel, appearing on behalf of I live at the Yes, Lordship. Learned counsel for the respondent number one and two. Price for listing the matter after? Three weeks, Lordship. Not three weeks. One week. Lordship, he's undisterminately ill, Lordship. I'll, I'll, I'll inform Lordship Achha. to him to... Uh, file the affidavit by any means on the next state lordship on or before the next state lordship is okay. she is in icu lordship so Achha. okay three weeks with consent from the address is there any interim order oh, no, no. no. Okay. Deeply obliged. Okay. let me show you i'd like to mention item number three by the train forward I pray that my lord, these matters may be listed after a week. My lord, I have to get some instructions from my client. You are part of petitioner? Yes, I am part of petitioner. Your good name, please. N. Longkumar, my lord. Mr. N. Longkumar, learned counsel for the petitioner with consent from the other side. Press for listing the matter after? Two weeks. Two weeks. After a week, yes. Pay lord. Is there any interim order? No, no. Okay. okay. May I please the lord? Hmm. Lord, so I think mention item number 43, lord. Yes. If this matter can come up after three weeks, Lord. Why? Lord Chief, uh, there is a latest development, Lord Chief, that uh, a new assessment has been taken by the Deputy Commissioner. So that instruction, we have not yet, uh, we have not received that instruction. So, okay. Lord Chief, please to grant another three weeks' time. In the meantime, we will bless this. The necessary instruction on the next week. Okay, Mr. Zimomi, a learned government advocate, with consent from the other side, first of all, listening the matter after three weeks so as to enable him to obtain a recent instruction from the no. respondent authorities. Bear out, list the matter after three weeks. Lord, if I beg to mention item 29, Lord. This matter can come up after two weeks, Lord Chief. Lord Chief, this matter may be listed along with uh, with petition 317-2023. There are other analogous matters. 2023? Yes, with petition 317. Okay. The other one is listed in court number one. So this matter may be listed along with the other one. There are analogous matters. That matter is listed today there? Yes, there also, but it is listed separately. Achha, so okay. this matter may be listed along with the red petition civil number okay. 3817, 2023. This is 18. Okay, Mr. Z. Jimomi, Learned Counsel for the Petitioner. Uh, press for listing the matter after? Two weeks, Lord. After two weeks. Miss, your, Madam, your good name, please. Zimomi. Your name? Zimomi. I'm Vijimomi. I'm Vijimomi. I'm Mr. Zimomi, Vijimomi, learned counsel for the respondent authorities with consent from the other side, press for listing the matter after two weeks. Yes. Ms. Zimomi, learned counsel for the petitioner summit step. Uh, another analysis matter is. Uh, Analysis matter is pending before the court number one, being WPC number 317 Seven. of 2023. And as such, this matter may be listed along, may be tagged with along with the said matter. Where is accordingly allowed, racist will do the needful in this regard. Okay. Is there any interim order? No. 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 Uh, Lordship, I'll take to mention item 32, Lordship, on behalf of my colleague. 
Someone has already mentioned this item number two. Thirty-two. 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 That's it. Question. I was directed to uh, serve notice to respondent serving through Dusty. So I accordingly filed an affidavit after serving. You have called service of notice. And I filed the affidavit also. Okay. Mr. B. Zimami, Learned Government Advocate. Uh, for the respondent authorities, price for listing the matter when? After after four weeks. After four weeks. With consent from the others. Miss, your good name? Miss <laughs> Swenson, Learned Council for the not Learned Council for the petitioner, summits that she has caused service of notice upon respondent number. Seven. Seven by dust demut and submitted to an affidavit to that affidavit. What is good? Uh, anybody entered appearance on behalf of respondent number no, seven? No, no. but uh, no one appears on behalf of the respondent number seven. How about list the matter after four weeks? Lost four weeks. Yes. Uh, on behalf of the council for the evident, Lordship, uh, with the consensus for both the parties, uh, kindly this this matter after three weeks. You are appearing on behalf of? Tayong uh, Chupa. Your good name? Angyang so. Konyak. Ms. Suenso, Learned Council, appearing on behalf of Mr. Tayong Suba, Learned Council for the Appellant, with consent from the other side, press for listening to the matter after. Here it is. Yes, Lordship. Yes. Here you go. Lordship, may I please your Lordship again? I beg to mention item number 35. Yes. On behalf of the Council for the Respondent, Lordship, kindly list this matter after three weeks. On behalf of? The Respondent. Ms. Suenso, Learned Council, appearing on behalf of respondents. Did you inform the other side? Yes. With consent from the other side, press for listing the matter after? Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Fair enough. Lordship. Any objection? I again beg to mention item number 39. <laughs> Lordship, on behalf of the Council, for respondent number one, uh, if your lordship may kindly list on, this on behalf of base. respondent number one, who is the respondent number one? Claimant responding. Claimant. Claimant responding. Okay. So and so, uh, any objections? No. Learned counsel for the respondent number one with consent from the other side. Price for listing the matter after three weeks. Three weeks. Fair enough. Lordship, uh, in this matter, Lordship, uh, if a date may be fixed, Lordship, because it will not be available on 18th of April, Lordship. Suggested that? Lordship, uh, on 19th? Friday. April. 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 Is it because the holiday on April, account of this election? 19th February? 19th. Oh, no, sorry, 19th After April. election, Lordship. After election. Anyway. When? 25th. 25th of April. Okay. okay. Lordship, I beg to move and unlist that item. When? Today? Yes, sir. Okay. Nice, sir. Lordship. Lordship, I beg to mention item number, hearing item number 30, uh, 18, 30, 36, Lordship. Lordship, here in this case, Lordship, uh, I have received the objection from the respondents. Uh, one week back, and uh, the appellant insurance company they want to file a reply to them. So, two weeks may be given to file the reply. Mr. Devnath, Learned Counsel for the petitioner, no, appellant, with consent from the other side, press for listing the matter after two weeks, two weeks to file the reply to file the rep to file a reply to the affidavit in opposition filed by the respondents. Pair load. The matter relates to the preliminary issue only arose. 
What is the preliminaries? What is the maintainability of the appeal? That that question has been raised. Achha. Because uh, okay, then let him file the reply. Uh, or uh, can I fix the Can I fix a sorted then? Can we fix a sorted? The, the, the companies are coming from outside. The, the issue involved in this case was uh, the additional additional evidence. And with the with the leave of this honorable court, I was permitted to place it on the court. And they had filed the objection. And on the objection, the company now wants to file the reply. The maintainability no, of the no, maintainability that the, the, without going to the merit, the Lord uh, Court wants to know. Yes, short take. That will be that will be uh, question of merit, Lord Chief. So I may be allowed to file my reply. Okay, then let him file a reply. Uh, how much are you getting? After two weeks, Lord Can we fix a date? That's what we have to say, Lord Chief. First week of April? Uh, starting from 22nd uh, April. Eight of April? Uh, Lots of May. I? Mm. The during the election as the election process will be on. It may not be after, 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 that after, free. After election. After election. Okay, all right. Then this uh twenty second April. Okay. Twenty second April. Okay. Lordship, I'd like to mention I hearing item number thirty eight on behalf of uh, Miss Innas for the appellate. Mm -hmm. She has the consent of the other parties mm -hmm. and she has prayed for three to be listed after three weeks. Three weeks. Your good name, please. I Jamir. Mr. I Jamir, Learned Council, appearing on behalf of Miss Innas Nila. Innas Nila, Learned Council for the appellant with consent from the other side. Press for this in the matter after three weeks. Three weeks. Very lot of new things. Lordship, uh, I also like to mention item number 31. Sure. My last order, LCR was called for, and record shows that LCR has been received. Mm. But the uh, leading counsel is from Guwahati, and he has some personal difficulties. Who is the leading counsel? Uh, M. Bishwas. So I pray for the of the matter, Lordship, after, after the election. After 26 April. Mr. Aizamir, Learned Counsel for the Petitioner, with concern from the other side, first of all, listing the matter after three weeks. After 26 April, Lord Lordship. In date after 26. Okay, you suggested that then? 29. 30 or not? 30. 30th April. Okay. Obliged. Fair enough. Fair description. I beg to mention item number eight. Uh, Lots of instruction from Mr. I. H. Saikia, the leading counsel in the case to withdraw our names for the petitioners as the client has already engaged a new one. You want to withdraw this? Yes. Who is the other counsel? I. Uh, Lots of I'm appearing for respondent number one. No, no, uh, for the petitioner. For the petitioner, it's I eat Sakya Mandi. Is this that one? So he want to withdraw this application. Yes, no, no, oh, oh, withdraw his ukalat number. Yes, sir. But uh, in that case, you have to send notice to the petitioner. Uh, the instruction is he has also received from the clients. On the Have you furnished no objection certificate? No. Then? Oh, oh, we'll adjourn the matter, uh, no problem.
but uh, you have to send notice to the petitioner. In that case, what we can do? Okay, as agreed by learned advocates of both sides, resolution is the matter of turning. Is there any interim order? Uh, no. No. Yes, for admission item number six. That is a lawsuit. Mm. Lawsuit as far as the instruction is that it, uh, respondent number, See, Lordship, I would like to place that on for your Lordship. Yes. So and Marcy have been commented for the one one post of supplementary post for the public So uh, after it has it has sent for cabinet approval. So yes. we are waiting for the cabinet approval. Now what yes. is your submission? So uh, as of now, logic since the matter has been sent to the cabinet for approval, logic if logic may please to run another. Uh, for which time? For which time? No objection. No objection. Mr. B.G. Momi, Learned Council for the Learned Senior, Learned, Learned Government Advocate. Lordship, in fact, I'm for respondent number two and three, Lordship. And this is the instruction received by respondent number four. However, the council is not present today, Lordship. Mao Yu Chen, Lordship. He's for the? Respondent number four. Okay. Because of some personal difficulty, he's not here today. Learned Council appearing on behalf of Respo on, uh, appearing on behalf of Mr. Mao You are no, appearing on respondent number four. Oh, Mr. B. G. Momi, Learned Council, uh, Lear no, Learned Government Advocate appearing on behalf of respondent number two and three. Two and three. A place on record, one letter. Uh, assistant Chief Engineer C A W D dated twenty eight March twenty twenty four address to Mr Mao Imsen, Learned Senior Government Advocate uh, who appeared on behalf of respondent number four 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 uh best for listing the matter after four weeks as uh. The Manpower Rationalization Committee has recommended for creation of one supernumerary post of Carpenter Grade 2. And the matter is pending for approval of, approval by the cabinet. Not. Cabinet. Paired up. Mr. Zimomi is accordingly allowed. Restitution is the matter after four weeks. The letter. Place on record by yes. Mr. Jimomi shall be part of the record. Right. For admission, item number seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
to make peace relationship. Mm. I may bring all the of the main council in Silota. Uh, I have instruction to so to pray for more time, three weeks time to file your FDP in reply. Yes. Mm. Mr. Eo, good name. Pakini Tabo, my lord. Learned Council appearing on behalf of Mr. Uh, Miss Nancy Lota. Learned Council for the respondent. Oh, the respondent. Respondent. Only one respondent. Mm -hmm. Solo respondent. Yes. Solo respondent. Uh, press for listing the matter. Sorry, 27 others. 27 others. There are 27 respondents. 27 respondents. So, okay. Uh, uh, you are for all the respondents. All the respondents. That's it. Uh, as for listing the matter after four weeks. After three weeks. Three weeks. weeks. So, yes. so enable the learned council for file for filing uh, affidavit in opposition. It is accordingly allowed. This is a list the matter after four weeks. Do we fix it? No better, my God. Suggested that my lord, twenty third April. For admission, item numbers ten and eleven. Yes. Here yeah, the Women's of Criminal Law has been sent to the motion, Roxy, as an accused of the process of law. The FIRS are baseless, and even if Roxy, they are considered in its entirety, and the recovery made by the police, Roxy, from the two applicants. There is no test made of Roxy. It's just that Roxy, they are non local businessmen. Where is and the FIR? The FIR has an X, not it. And an X two page 22. Serious, not it, but false allegations, not, not it. If my Lord considers the facts of the case, not it. The Lord people also appreciate, not it, that this is entirely a baseless allegation. They are licensed to be listed, Lord. No, no, there's a written complaint lodged by the that page number. Page number 22. Filed by the police officer, not by any private complainant. Can I repeat, Lord? Yes. Do the officer in charge, state crime police station, Nagalin Kuduma, subject the fire. Sir, I have the honor to state that the undersigned received a reliable information from a source on the involvement of a few antisocial individuals dealing in illegal smuggling of contraband in Arikana Supari from neighboring country and a conspiracy to launder illegal money from various sources, including arms smuggling and, uh, and avoid legal taxation on behalf of openness groups of operators working in multiple states. In this connection, on 14-9-2022, at about 19 hours, a place at Nahabari Jibapu at 7th mile Jumukitima was searched and recovered about 220 bags of Arigana from Bikudang at South mile Chokobi around uh, Chokobi Road, Jumukitima, which was owned and managed by Sri Bankaj Kumar Singh. About 78 bags of Arigana from the Kudang house Kudang at Naharbari, near Kachari Street, which was owned by Sri Dudu Mahathir. <coughs> Accordingly, the above two persons were detained for further investigation. So these two accused are the applicants, Lord Chief. <laughs> now, Lord Chief. Pankos Kumar Singh and? Dudu Kumar Mahathir. <laughs> and Lord Chief, after that, a case was registered against the Lord Chief. Under three sections of law. Mm. 
One is 120 feet, which is criminal conspiracy logic. The other is 379 IPC theft. And 411 dishonesty receiving stolen property. Now, there is no complaint logic from any sort in the entire prosecution case of anyone. At the, what is this? The case is pending now. <laughs> it's under investigation logic. And then, logic. Been informed that final report has been filed. It's so the year. Final report. By the IO Logic. So if the report can be called. Final report file. Yes, your lordship. That's what I Final report means uh, Sarsit? It has been delayed, it seems. Sarsit has been submitted. Lordship. Mm -hmm. So. I have received no such information. No summons has been received. Because if Sarsit is by lordship for consideration of charges, I have I will be summoned by the trial court lordship. So that I, I have not received till now. No information to be also that Sarsit has been filed against me. Because I have to be informed as well, lordship. When it was filed? Uh, just uh, recently, I've been informed by the IO, you know, Chief. Recently? Uh, yes, you know, Chief. So the case diary is available? The case diary is here, you know, Chief. But then, uh, the, you know, Chief. The, 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 yes, you know, Chief. The, 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 because the prayer is for question of an FIR now, you know, Chief. Uh, yeah. And uh, if FIR is filed, you have to silence the FIR also. I have to yes, you know, the FIR, no, 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 sorry. Uh, Salenza Sarsit also. Lordship, that's what your Lordship. Lordship. Once the foundation goes, mm. we fire. Mm. This superstructure cannot survive, Lordship. Mm. Now, the church is a superstructure, structure, Lordship. The fire yeah, that's the not right, but uh, usually the practice is that whenever Sarsit is filed. Lordship, but Lordship, yeah. here in my Subsequently, case, then the death party is also Salenza. The charge was filed after I filed this criminal petition on the lordship. Yes. Yes. So I could not have challenged it, lordship, when I filed this petition. No, or that's all right. But now we can challenge. challenge. Yes, lordship. By filing an IA. Yes. Lordship, please. Now, lordship, please, lordship, the charge can be placed by oh, way of the Please it definitely. My lord. Oh. Lord Mr. Santia Inger, Learned Council for the Petitioner, and also Lord our Chief, uh, LCR may be called your Lord Chief. Madam? LCR may no, be your called. Your good name? S. Mary. S. Mary, Learned for the State. PP. Yes, your Lord Chief. PP for the State Respondent. Ms. Mary submits that as far instruction received from the IO, the investigation of the case already completed and search it has been laid before the Learned Court below. And as such, Ms. Mary tries for calling for the scanned copy of the record from the learned court below. Care of Ms. Mary is accordingly allowed. Let's just call for the scanned copy of the record from the court of learned civil judicial magistrate Dimapo. Dimapo. Fixing the matter on. Who is not as per the conditions of Lordship. No, why two weeks after one? A week will do, yes. After a week. It's a scanned copy. It may be true registry, your Lordship. Oh, yes, because, yes, 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 Charges can be filed by way of an affidavit lordship by you. No point, your lordship, because LCR has been called, your lordship. We have called the LCR, we can copy of the record. Yes. Lordship. I am apprehensive whether the charges will be actually filed, because I have stopped instruction from some counsel. No, maybe no, uh, the court has to take cognizance upon the surcit, and lordship. only thereafter the, it will issue someone to you. Lordship, lordship. It may take some time also. Lordship. Okay. Let us deeply oblige. But oh. Mr. Santianger, we have seen the practice that whenever Sarset is submitted after filing of the criminal petition, yes. by which the FIR has been challenged, uh, usually an I is filed uh, to challenge the Sarset also. Yes, Lordship. Huh? Then, uh, Lordship, I'll take necessary steps from the trial court. Uh, only after receiving the record. Yes, yes, Lordship. Yes, Lordship. Okay. Deeply oblige. 
for admission item number 12. May I please, Milots? I appear for petitioners in this match. Job is not mentioned. Huh? Job is not mentioned. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm. I appear for petitioners in this matter, Milots. Uh, this honourable court, Friday order dated 13 December, in a similar and connected matter, has passed a very detailed order by way of which the on, this honorable court was pleased to quash the summons uh, and while giving certain liberty to the respondent, the complainant in the 138 matter. So I will request my learned friend who is at present before the court to hand over the copy of that order for my Lord's perusal. No, what is your prayer today? Well, it's my prayer is this. I have challenged the summary order. So there was two petitions being filed. So in one of the petition, this honorable court has been already pleased to pass an order. Please see the order dated 13 December 2023. So same parties, identical fact, identical case. So if your lordship may kindly turn to the last page, uh, page 15. <laughs> Yes. I'm so sorry, Millets. I will rather take Millets to uh, page 14, para 20. Accordingly, this court therefore interferes with the order dated 17th May 2023, passed by learned CGM Perrin in case number 2 of 2023. This court also find it relevant to observe that in the judgment of Supreme Court rendered in the case of D. Vinod Shivappa, and more particularly at paragraph 15, it was observed that the complainant would have an opportunity to prove the fact that the notice was sent to the proper address. The fact discerned herein shows that the address of the petition number one and the address of notice number one in the notice dated so and so is the same. Therefore, as this court had interfered but not quashed the complaint, the respondent complainant hearing would be at liberty to file additional document to satisfy that the notice was sent at the address mentioned in notice dated so and so, so far as the petition number one is concerned. The court direct the learned trial court that in the eventuality such as steps are taken by the complainant, the learned court below shall proceed with the matter in accordance with law taking into consideration the observation made in the instant judgment. It is made clear that the court had set aside the order dated 17th May 2023, all consequential order passed thereafter in so and so pending in court of the CGM Perrin shall also be set aside in question. Now, this is pertaining to complaint case number two of 2023 pending before the learned CGM Perrin. The present petition, which is now before my lords, is for complaint case number three of 2023 between the same parties. So all I respectfully pray today before this honorable court that in terms of the judgment being passed by this honorable court in this case, this matter may also be allowed, my lords, and, the, and similar Mr. orders may kindly. Uh, Mr. Counsel, that record is not available before this court today. How can how can we examine that uh, this matter is also the uh, same with that matter? Uh, Milots, I can I can take it from the order and then from the record of the present case, if my lords allow me to that effect. Or in alternative, my lords, subject to my lords' direction, that record may kindly be summoned and then the matter can be heard. Yes, only uh, uh, that will be fine. My lords? Heard me, sir. You have a good name, please. Uh, Dr. Farooq Khan. Dr. F. Khan, Learned Counsel for the Petitioner, and also heard me, sir. Mane Gulia, Mano. Learned Counsel for the Respondent. Respondent. Yes, Mano. So, Respondent. Respondent. Having heard the submission of Learned Advocates of both sides, it is provided that uh, the record of... What is the number of that case? Criminal petition 26 of 2023. The criminal petition number 26 of 2023 shall be 
uh, call for and place on record. List the matter after. When can it be listed? Lord, if, if my lords may kindly list it after April 20, I have some personal difficulty in between. Okay. Suggest the date. I'm sorry, my lords. Suggest the date. Uh, any date, my lords, as per my lords' convenience, after April 20, my lords. Okay, 22nd. Grateful, my lords. Pilots, interim to continue, my lords. Till then, interim order pass earlier shall continue. Grateful, my lords. Obliged. Deeply grateful. For admission, item number 16. I don't know, I'm really with a request, but uh, my document has been notarized. So allow me for the day, and I'm finding the need for the day. In this IA? Why not? Okay. This is the request. Mr. E. Zhao, Lauded Council for the Applicant. Uh, press for listing the matter with the on. Uh, I will find it in the course of the day because this is the prepared no, one. When to be it has to be uh, listed. Uh, the document has to be notarized. That's all. No, that's all right. Oh, when to be listed, the matter. Seventeen April, my God. Seventeen April. Yeah. Yes, madam. Seventeen hundred. Oh, seventeen division match. Then my law on ten of April. Ten of April. Okay, all right. The idea of the battle. Okay. Fair enough. Obliged. For admission, item numbers 17 and 18. May I please, Your Honorship, in item number 18, in the last order, 18 3 24, petitioner for the council and one Mr. Sukla were allowed to withdraw the Wakala Nama. However, Mr. Sukla was not in the Wakala Nama. So, Order may be modified to delete the name of Mr. Supla. And also delete, delete the names of consul for the petitioner in the course list. So what is your pair today? Pardon? What is your pair today? Mod modify the order to, de to delete the name of Mr. Supla. And also... From which order? 18, yes, 3, 3, 3, 4, the last order. No, on the, on the other day, that was the submission. Which it was given in the last para list the matter with the learned counsel for the petitioner are accordingly permitted to withdraw their Vakala Nama, except Mr. Sukla. Sukla, no, that was a submission on that day. Worship, it was permitted to withdraw their Vakala Nama. Lordship, here the counsels appearing for the respond have already withdrawn. Otherwise, on the same date, we have made a submission that Mr. Shukla's name is in the Vakala. However, after checking the registry, I found that Mr. Shukla's name is not reflected in the Vakala. Therefore, the registry is finding it difficult to delete the names of the consuls. So therefore, Lordship, uh, we agree that the uh, name of Shukla may be deleted, as well as the consuls who are paying for respond. 
in this case not yet. We have said notice to the party mm -hmm. to whom we are appearing. So notice has been completed. Mm -hmm. So in view of the completion of the notice, mm -hmm. our names may be deleted in the courses as well as in the speech. Okay. You are for the respondent. Yes, my lord. Hard, hard, you are for the petitioner. I'm I'm the petitioner in the Eastern IA. Yes. My lord, the Eastern IA was filed to bring on reports the check which was dishonored on 2012 and then one 2024. And my lord, this the order dated the order dated 2012, 2024, or 2023 has allowed me who is responded in the renewal revision to file an application before this honorable court if the check was dishonored. The petitioner and the respondent has executed a joint affidavit where the petitioner uh, agreed promise to pay all the outstanding uh, amount on installment basis. Uh, but the check which was given to the applicant in the instant IA was his owner of the <coughs> 1 2024 and 21 to 2024. Mm. And my father prayer is that another check, two check were dishonored. Uh, I beg your pardon, my lord. The previous check were dishonored on 2012 to 2023. Mm. The first check was dishonored on 2012 to 2023. Mm. And, and for that, I, I brought a report. No, that's all right. Now the other I, side, now the other side has to appear, no? Respondents. Yes. Yes, no, but still, the honorable court has allowed me to file an application. If the check was honored, I file an instant. Uh, no, that's IA. all right. Uh, yes. Let the other side enter appearance. Thereafter, we will consider your prayer. Hard, hard uh, I may be allowed to file another IA if the check were again is honored on 31 1 to 24 and 31 to 24. You can file IA. Yes. Where is the bar? Yes. Permission of the court is not required. Heard me, sir. Your good name. Okay. Learned counsel for the petitioner, oh, no, uh, applicant, and also heard me, sir. Ali Walls, come down, sir. Learned counsel for the respondents. Lordship, in the uh, item number I, 18, I am I, the I, petition. In the I, in the I am the respondent, Lordship. Respondent. Yes. The learned counsel for the respondents summits that. By the order dated 18 2024, this court was pleased to grant permission to them to withdraw their colored number, except Mr. Sukla. But uh, the registry has found, after verification, that uh, Mr. Sukla was not a counsel for the respondent mm -hmm. number, respondents. Yes. And as such, uh, the order dated 18 2024 may be modified. Accordingly, having heard the submission of learned counsel for the respondent and also considering the record, the order dated uh, 18 3, 2024 stands modified to the extent that uh, the name of Mr. Sukla shall be deleted from the same. It will serve your purpose? Yes, Lord. And what order is to be passed in criminal revision petition? No order is order is to be passed in speech. I love the respondent to file an application if the check were dishonored. Heard Mr. Sunsul, learned counsel for the petitioner. 
So your presence is not required to not be recorded here. So yes, you have already withdrawn your color number. None of you should have responded on the call. The learned council board of petitioner submits that he may be permitted to file one additional IA yes, for to bring on report. For bringing on record the sex dishonored by sex already dishonored. Yes, Lordship, in, in the criminal report. petition, he is the respondent. I was a bit, uh, I was appearing for a petition in the criminal petition, uh, revision petition. What's uh, here? You are for a petitioner. In the IA, I am for a respondent. However, no, no, no. In the revision petition, I am for. The, I was appearing for a petition. You are for the petitioner. Yes. Lord. Okay. Okay. You first. Uh, Pierre is allowed. List the matter after. After every after one week. After one. For from the supplementary cost list for admission item number forty four. Thank you, Lord Chief. Uh, Lord Chief, uh, my senior counsel is currently engaged in court number one. So, if I may uh, kindly request this Lord Chief to kindly pass this item one or two items later. My lot, this can be taken up next week also in that case because I have a matter in court number one. Also. And then moreover, uh, yes, because of just one item. My lot, here the res respondents are uh, willing to uh, are in the process to consider the case of the petitioner for appointment on compassionate ground, but we have uh, 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 sent for approval to the government for recruitment process. This is regarding the police department, so it's under process. So when, as and when the government send, uh, the, uh, gives the approval for recruitment, the recruitment will be, process will be initiated. And then out of the total vacancy, some number of vacancies will be. Lord Chief, uh, since I'm not. Let the, the, the council come, please. Huh? Okay, after some time. Thank you, Lord Chief. For admission item numbers 46, 45 and 46. May it please the court, Your Honor. Uh, your Lordship, uh, wide order dated 27 to 2024. This honorable court noted that respondent number seven is not required in the present proceedings. And in pursuit of that order, an IEA was filed, Your Honor, um, as directed by this honorable court for deletion uh, of respondent number seven from the area of parties. The relevant application is placed before your lordship for his kind consideration. The original petitioner had already recorded his no objection with regard to deletion of the respondent number seven from the RF parties, your lordship. Yes, madam, you are for petitioner. Yes. So you are appearing for petitioner. I'm yes. appearing for respondent number seven, your honor. Uh, respondent number seven was the one who originally made a submission before this honorable court once noticed that they were in no manner involved, no relief has been prayed against them. And it was your your lordship could possibly see the order dated 27 to 2024. I'm referring to the third paragraph, your lordship. Um, I'll read it out for uh, your lordship's convenience. Yes. The learned counsel for respondent number seven has submitted that R7 was in no way involved in this case. The learned counsel for the petitioner has also admitted that petitioner has no grievance against R7 and his name may be deleted. An IA would be filed by the, by R7 to strike out the name from the array of respondents. So it's uh, it's basically a procedural application your, for your lordship's consideration. The the court submissions on this issue have already uh, transpired uh, before this honourable court, your lordship. Any objection, madam? 
uh, as long as the respondent don't have any, uh, there won't be any objection. No, no, any objection in deleting the name of the respondent number seven? To strike off the name. No, yeah. we don't have any objection. The no reason objection. why, yes, the reason why we include a uh, respondent number seven is uh, not to make any technical issue. That is the only. Okay, heard, Mister. Yo, what is your name? I'm Advocate Mayank Arora, your lordship. Learned counsel for the applicant and also heard, Madam. Your good name, please. Teja. Learned counsel for the person. No, yeah, learned counsel for the opposite party. This interlocutory application is filed by applicant. Who is the respondent number seven in the criminal? No, sorry, in the WPC number ninety four of twenty twenty two. Oh, striking of the name of respondent number seven from the array of the parties. The learned counsel for the applicant referring to order of this court dated. <clears throat> Uh, 27 to 2024 summits that person to the direction issued in the said order. This IA is filed for striking of the name of the respondent number seven from the array of the parties. And as no relief has been claimed against the respondent number seven, the name of the respondent number seven may be strike out from the array of the parties in WPC number uh, 94 of 2022. The Learned Council for the Petitioner also submits that she has no objection in the event of striking out the name of respondent number seven from the array of the parties. But uh, having considered the submission of learned advocates of both sides, also considering the facts and circumstances on the record, this IA is then allowed. Oh, uh, great for you. Respondent number seven may be strike off from the array of the parties from the WPC number 94 of 2022. The most grateful, Your Lordship. I'm honored, Your Lordship. So, Much obliged. Oh, orders item number 19. I have taken a substitute notice and then uh, I filed my affidavit also. So the serving good thing to be something. Heard, Miss? Yes, correct. Learned counsel for the petitioner. The learned counsel for the petitioner submits that she has caused service of notice upon respondent number. All the respondents. Upon all the respondents by substituted mode, and she has also filed an affidavit to that effect, enclosing the newspaper in which the notice to the respondents have been published. I have gone through the affidavit and also the notice published in the newspaper. That is the Assam Tribune Guwahati in on its issue dated 13th of March 2024. Thus, in view of the affidavit submitted by the Learned Council for the Petitioner, notice upon respondent number. One, three, and four deemed to have been served upon the, upon them, uh, but none appears 
on behalf of the said respondents. So let's just list the matter on when? 17 April. 17 April. And who appeared for the respondent number two? So, uh, yeah, uh, she expired. What's her? Her name is out. Well, list the matter on 17. 17. Okay. Or orders item number 20. Pardon? Similar pair. Similar pair. Yes. Okay. Same. Same order. 17. Item number 21. Yes. Same. Okay, hard miss. So, so learned counsel for the appellant and Mr. Lucky from Norship. I may bring for respondent one and two. Learned counsel for the respondent number one and two. The learned counsel for the appellant summits that she has caused service of notice upon respondent number three by substitute and mode by publish by paper publication and submitted an affidavit to that effect. Part of the affidavit and also the newspaper. And notice upon respondent number three deemed to have been served. But uh, no one appears on behalf of the respondent number three. Accordingly, it is provided that justice unless the matter on when? After four weeks. After four weeks. Oh, hearing. Yes, sir. LCR medical. Pardon? LCR medical. LCR medical. Yes? LCR. LCR. Yes. LCR has not been called for. Rest is also called for the uh, call for the record from the learned court bill. From which court? The learned member, MSCT Mokoksan. What is the number of the case? 09 of 2020. 09 of 2020? 2020. 2020. Yeah. For orders, please, my lord. I am deeply sorry, lordship. I was unaware of the listing of item 45, the IA lordship. Which is why I had already moved out of the court, Lordship. Uh, in the IA, Lordship, if kindly I may be allowed one week time to file my affidavit, Lordship. Item, I 33, item 45. 
I have taken the consent of the root petitioner also. You are, for, you are appearing in IA, you are appearing for? Respondents 1, 2, and 8, Lord Chief. Mr. Sethi Anger, Learned Council for the Respondent number 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, and 8. 1, 2, and 8. 1, 2, and 8. With consent from the other side, press for listing the matter after? One week. One week. Fair Lord. Deeply obliged. For others, item number 22. Uh, sir, notice on the event 3 11 so I may be allowed to take questions. The learned okay. council for the appellant submits that she may be permitted to take press step upon respondent number one, two, and three. Here is accordingly allowed. Uh, step shall be taken upon respondent number one, two, and three by registered post and also by usual process within a week from today. Recess and list the matter after four weeks. After four weeks. For others, item number 24. None appears for the applicant on call. Race is always the matter of the one. Mm -hmm. For orders, item number 26. Mr. Demner, learn it also for the this IA you are for applicant. IA. IA, I'm the applicant, Lord Learn Learned counsel for the applicant and Mr. Lucknay Pong. Learned counsel for the respondent. Respondent one. Respondent, one. respondent number one. Mr. Devnath submits that uh, due to oversight, he could not take his step upon respondent number two and three and press for granting him two weeks time. Lord So as to take his step upon respondent number two and three, fair is allowed. This is a list the matter after. For weeks? Lord Chief, uh, if the publication may be uh, Lord Chief uh, mentioned, Lord Chief, a newspaper. The applicant. Sir, then that further submits that uh, he may be permitted to take step upon respondent number two and three by substituted mode within bucket paper publication. Peer is accordingly allowed. After. Uh, after Paper publication, Mr. Devnath shall furnish it and a bit of it to that effect before this court. Item number 27. Thank you, Mr. Lord My Lord, in this matter, I have sought the permission of the court to file a subsequent notice. Now, my Lord, I was not aware of the process of the law. I was not aware of the process. So this service of notice has been served by me to the opposite party. But the opposite party they have refused the uh, same uh, the notice. So I would like to I am I'm an affidavit stating that the opposite party has refused, refused to accept notice. Where when you will be filing affidavit? I'm I'm filing today. No, that affidavit has to be filed before the registry. 
I know that was where I have uh, misunderstood the process of the form. So we will we will grant you one more time. You file it before the race day. They will take it with the record. My Lord, as prayed for by Learned Council for the applicant. Uh, registration is the matter after one week, so as to enable the Learned Council for the applicant to file an affidavit to the effect that. He tried to call service of notice upon respondent number respondent. upon solo respondent by dusty mode. So speed for so? speed force. So prayer was granted. Allowing me to file a speed force. Mm -hmm. Now I was not aware of the process that I have to file my talar and from that from there on it should be. That was the thing. So for that, I have served uh, the substitute notice by myself. Now, see, the opposite party has not uh, received. So I am filing this academic, that's all. Whereas I should have filed it with the consent of the <coughs> of the, <coughs> the court. I mean, the, the registry. But here, I have not followed the process with the registry. That is all of it. No, no, you instead of taking this step by yourself, you ought to have uh, deposited this uh, with a uh, deposit this notice with a registry. Exactly, that's where I failed, my daughter. That's uh, yes. So, uh, you want to call service of notice by substituted mode now. Yes. Why not since the opposite party have not received no, that's all right. Now, what is your prayer? My only option is that uh, let it uh, let the uh, by paper publication. Yes. Achha. Follow it on. The learned counsel for the why not one through the local paper and then one through the English paper. Uh -huh. So means that uh, he has taken a step up on respondent, solo respondent, but the solo respondent on oh no, by 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 registered post, but the solo respondent refused to receive the same. And as such, he prayed for granting him permission to cause service of notice upon the solo respondent by substituted mode within bracket paper publication. Pair is accordingly allowed. Uh, the notice to the respondent may be published uh, in two newspapers. One is local and the other is national. Widely circulated in the... One is well, be in English and the other one is in, should be in the, uh, the local language, the particular language. One is in local language and other in English. Widely circulated in the said area. Pair is accordingly allowed. After paper publication, the learned counsel for the petitioner shall file <coughs> an affidavit to that effect. Oblige. List the matter after four weeks. Four three weeks. Three weeks. Oblige. For all this item not to need. None of this for the applicant on call. Raise the cell is the matter of our tools. For admission item number 
to offer something. Much of the last order, uh, my father died in 2016, and uh, uh, it's two, more than two years now. The complete the content petition. This is pretty the number of people. No, the content is 20. That means it's not. I pray for some stringent order, otherwise the content petition has been filed in 2000. And for the past uh, past years or year, Rashid, mm. they have been submitting that uh, it will be it will be his case will be considered as and when they make advertisement. So, so it's in when recruitment process is started. It is under that's why. So where is the question of interlinking recruitment, direct recruitment process, and where is the question of compassionate uh, appointment being linked together? It's it's a separate direct recruitment. And uh, Lord Chief in your wisdom knows that. Uh, Compassionate appointment is for immediate financial relief for the family. Now, 16 years, now seven years. Since 2016, I have been pursuing this case and now it's almost seven years, Lord Chief. The petitioner father was the only breadwinner of the family, Lord Chief. So even after filing contempt, So how do the petitioners or the object of the compassionate appointment scheme for immediate financial relief? How do we go about it, Lord Chief? And now they can make direct recruitment any any time they want. However, Lord Chief, this compassionate appointment scheme that is 50 50 percent that has been adopted by the state government. It should not be clapped up together with the direct recruitment logic. That is my humble submission for the Zona Report. Okay. Thank you. The order gave two months to consider the case of the petitioner. The order is yes. now? Yes. Uh, yes. Where is the petition? There's a FDO sitting opposition. This is the reason that this is additional FDO. This is additional FDO. This is FDO sitting opposition. This one? So, uh, both are in different schemes. Huh? One is regular and other is complete. Yes, my lord. So, but why, the, why the, you the are linking number of vacancies? both are together? Why why you are linking both are together? Yes, yes my lord. Since the uh, petitioner is claiming for appointment on commissioned ground yes. against straight three and four posts. Now, for we have... The department has not been conducting recruitment process for more than three or four years. Now the petition the the department has sent the proposal to the government for conducting recruitment. So that against that total number of vacancies, up to 50% can be reserved for appointment on compassionate ground. Yes. And then the petitioner is not only the applicant for who is claiming for appointment on compassionate ground, there are other applicants also. So we have sent the proposal to the government for approval. Once it is approved, and then once the recruitment process is approved for uh, recruitment, we will uh, some posts will be reserved 
for appointment on compassionate ground level. No, now what is the vacancy position now? Well, uh, since the recruitment is pertaining to police department, it may be in terms of hundreds of more than hundreds. More than hundred. Yes, definitely. Then, uh, once what the, would be the vacancy for this? Uh, up to fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yes, my lord. Once fifty post. Yes, uh, once the government approves for recruitment, definitely their case will be considered because they are coming. No, to... no. For direct recruitment, the uh, approval of the government is necessary. But for this completion of the appointment, whether uh, approval is necessary. Yes, because my lord, we have sent for approval of the sanction of the, the total number of vacancies in the department. Showing that this is the total number of vacancies, this will be reserved for this for direct recruitment, and this number will be reserved for commissioned appointees. And so what is the uh, serial number of this uh, present petitioner? Well, she will be within the top ten. Within, within top ten. Yes, my lord. Definitely, her case will. So be when you have sent the proposal to the government, my lord, uh, it's been more than a month, my lord. More than one month. One month. Yes. Why so, lord, is pending? I, I may be allowed to obtain the. Uh, status of the approval sent to the government no, no, and then maybe but uh, you cannot delay the process my lord, why it has been delayed because my lord, initially what happened the petitioner has filed wbc number 21 of 2020 mm -hmm. then the order was passed on 14 to 2020 directing the respondents to mm -hmm. appoint the petitioner on commissioner appointment mm -hmm. thereafter we have compiled a list of no, if you obtain instruction today itself, so we'll take it up at two o two o'clock. You inform the court what is the position of that file. Otherwise, we'll direct the respondent, uh, direct the contemptor to appear, remain present in the court. You obtain necessary instructions. Well, in that case, tomorrow, my lord. Not tomorrow, today, yes. two p.m. Tomorrow. Otherwise, we will direct him to remain present in the court tomorrow. Okay. okay. For unlisted motion, anticipatory bail 4 of 24. Yes. Have you serve a copy of this petition to the PP, Learned PP? You have to serve a copy to the uh, this uh, PP. Pardon? After giving directions, I'll serve Not necessary. Whenever you file a petition, uh, you have to serve a copy to the Learned PP. Yes, uh, you inform the PP, any one of the PP. Okay, after some time. Do you have a ready-made copy with you? Yes, my lord. The process is that uh, you have to serve a copy of the petition to the learned PP. No, no, no direction uh, is necessary here. I'll serve it immediately. Pardon? I'll serve it immediately. Uh -huh. I'll serve it. Uh -huh. After some time then? Huh? Uh, have you called uh, someone? Uh, no. I'll just.
for hearing item numbers 40 and 41. Both the petition are connected. Uh, yes, Rashid. Item number 40 is a 42 petition for quashing, and 41 is a revision petition. From your revision petition. How how they are connected? Uh, Rashid, uh, a summons was issued to the petitioner, the present petitioner, from the judicial mention first class, Imamul. So we are uh, seeking quashing of the entire proceedings in item number 40. And uh, in item number 41, which admitted that someone sorted. That's it. Now, the pleadings are complete, and I can start with the hearing in item number 40. So, the question is allowed subject to your lordship's consideration. 41 will go with That's it. Right, but the, whether the other side is ready? Mm -hmm. uh, what is the question? Now, in the criminal petition, state is not made the party. So, I have. Is that objection? This is a police case. No, so this is a criminal complaint, private complaint case. Private complaint. It's a private complaint case and FI is yet to be registered. So that stage doesn't arise actually in the criminal petition and the revision petition. FI is yet to be registered. A summons is an issue to the petitioner for appearance, but then the FI is yet to be registered. So the state machinery has not been involved as of now. It is ongoing between the two parties. No, no. If the FI has not been registered, how can you challenge it? Uh, the complaint is there's a there's a complaint filed before the under section two hundred before the judicial magistrate first class and the and the judicial magistrate first class has issued a summons to the petitioner the present petitioner so we are we are questioning we are challenging the basis of the order and the basis of the complaint because the transaction from which this complaint arose it was a commercial transaction under an MOU signed between the complainant and the company in which the petitioner was employed earlier. Hmm. So on that basis, we are actually we are pressed. We would like to press for item forty, the quashing petition, because we believe we have a strong case in quashing. And if the quashing is allowed, subject subject to consideration of the lordships, the section of I mean uh, item forty one will go with it. So this is a private complaint. Whether a state is required to be made a party? Yeah. Yes, it is a private complaint made before the magistrate. Yes, but magistrate has uh, instructed the. Police to inquire into the matter. To inquire the matter. Into the matter. So, thereafter, what happened? My inquiry report has been submitted to the CGM. Yes. So that that's why the proceeding of measures was taken by the. No, no. Magistrate. After after submission of inquiry report by police or before the magistrate, what happened there? Yes. The cognizance was taken of the case only. Cognizance was yes. taken. Yes. So investigation was carried out by the police. Policeman. Then definitely this uh, state uh, should be a party. Yes, uh, in item 40, it's a caution petition. So I think that can be added in at this stage. Uh, because if the caution is allowed, my humble submission says the caution is allowed, and we have a strong case on caution, the other petition will go along with the caution. Because there's no basis of the complaint here. And the complaint that was filed, I'll endeavor to show it to your lordship. A lot of crucial facts were not disclosed in the complaint. No, that's all right. Uh, but uh, first, you have to make the state as a party here. It is, it is connected with the same case which has been registered by the CG. The petition, in criminal petition, petition, washing petition, that is in respect of the same case. And the revision petition also. Man. So my pertinent objection is that since the state is not made a party, it's Petition is not mentioned in In fact, uh, the orders that are annexed now in the with the petitions, uh, one order is dated seventh uh, of October two thousand twenty-two. After which, this the present petitions were filed. Annexed, sir. Uh, uh, from item number fourteen, this is page number sixty-nine. Annex your four. The type copy is at page sixty-nine A. If I may read the last part of the order, it says that I have taken into consideration the submission made by made before the court today. Accused person Sri Indranil Goho is accepted from personal appearance. Fix 16-11-2022 for order. Roger, this present petition and the revision petition are filed after this order was passed. 
So there's no there's no direction from the court to the police or to the state machinery as of now, in my humble submissions. And uh, in the present things on the 6th of November, uh, 6th of December 2022, interim stay was also granted. Oh, where is the first order of the amazement? This is uh, an actual two, page number uh, 61. So here it appears that I received a police inquiry report filed by the officer in search ESPS. On the 6th of December 2022, in the present proceedings, uh, uh, there was an interim order of stay passed, which is still operating. And after this, after the first order that Dorshi was just perusing right now, uh, the stage of FIR has not yet been, uh, because, of this, because of the stay order operating, the F state FI has not been registered yet. It is st still before the magistrate pending for consideration. No, no. For appropriate orders, if I may say. So this is uh, this proceeding is instituted on the basis of one complaint. Yes, sir. It has not been lost before police. Yes, sir. But uh, when when the complaint was lost with the magistrate, the magistrate got it inquired by the police. Yes, so uh, after inquiry, police has submitted a report upon which the court below has taken cognizance and issued process to the accused. Yes, sir. So where is the question for registering FIR? That was uh, just a preliminary inquiry conducted. Where the yes, it was election. conducted by police. Yes, not sure. And uh, so, so state should be made a party here. Not sure. Subsequently, what has happened is that um, no, we are not concerned with subsequent happening. It's not sure. We are not concerned. It, it appears that uh, it was uh, conducted by police. Inquiry yes, was sir, conducted by police. Preliminary inquiry. Yes. So, Lord Shibbat, uh, if we, uh, if I may submit that in under section 42, because the, this honorable court has the scope and duration to enter in the 42 petition at this stage also. There are multiple judgments to it. I'm sure Lord Shibbat is aware of it. So uh, we have a strong case in 42. Lord sir, you may have a strong case, but yes. uh, you have to meet the state of party here. Not sure. Uh, in that case, I will have to repeat the state uh, process of You have to file one I. Yes, Lord Shibh. Pardon me, sir. Your good name? Uh, I, Haseeb, Lord Shibh. I? Haseeb. Learned counsel for the uh, petitioner and also heard me, sir. Thank you. Uh, learned counsel for the respondent. The learned counsel for the respondent submits that here in this petition, the state has not been made a party. And 
uh, in view of the order dated 21-9-2022, the learned court below has taken cognizance of the offense on the basis of police inquiry report filed by the officer in search is PS. And as such, the state is a necessary party here in this proceeding. But uh, having heard the submission of learned counsel for the respondent, I have gone to the petition and the documents plus on record, and I find substance in the submission of learned counsel for the respondent. Accordingly, it is provided that the petitioner shall take step upon impleting the state of Nagaland as a respondent here in this petition. Respondent number two here in this petition. I'll list the matter after one week. Person, can I get two weeks, please? For two weeks. Yes. So as to enable the learned counsel for the petitioner to file an IA to implete the state of Nagaland as respondent number two here in this petition. Yes. So in a revision petition. Same, 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 Yes, 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 But that's all right, but uh, even without issuing notice, even uh, this is the person concerned. So, the principle of necessary justice appears to be violated here. What to do? Without discharging them, you could have issued notice to them gotcha. that uh, without the approval of the PNAR department, uh, you have been appointed and your appointment is illegal. Uh, so take notice that we are going to discharge you. What to do? So, uh, otherwise, his position in serial number? 13. No, 13. No, so, is there any vacancy? As of now, Lord, Lord, no vacancy, Lord, but no. Lord, uh, case will be considered when there is vacancy, Lordship. That's all right, but uh, if his serial number is in 13, 13 no, then third, uh, there should be a vacancy of 13. Mm -hmm. Job applicants on top of her, Lordship. Mm -hmm. So your stand is that uh, without taking any approval from the PNAR department, the appointment of the petitioner was made. 
Then thereafter, after one year, he was discharged without issuing notice. No, sure. That is the position. So in that line, we will see the matter. Okay. What it means? Your good name, please. Uh, El Likhazi Sangam. Sangam, learned counsel for the petitioner, and Ms. S. Sang, learned uh, government advocate for the state respondents. Argument concluded, order reserved. My Lord, one argument for them. My Lord, I'll be turning 38 years. Pardon? 38. I'll be turning 38 years. My Lord, this year. And the appointment is not made in time. I'll be become over. You are in the age of? 38. 38. And then my marriage is to be set aside and you know, because we just have been added to it. Because that you order as well as to consider to reinstate the service of the petition in terms of the oil, oil formulated by the state. That's one. Formulated by the? State. That's one. Hmm. So oh, you have made two pair here. One is to set aside a discharge order, and other is to appoint to you as per this scheme. Yes, sir. Dated uh, five. So if we cross the said order dated 12 5 2016, then yeah, they have to reinstate you. Pardon? Instead of, instead of wearing too much, that's something that is quite a little bit more. Just one reserved. Any other matter? Okay. Yes, no. Yes, uh, have you yes, served copy? Yes, sir. I served copy. Okay. To whom? To the PP. PP? Yes. Who? Yes, ma'am. She is coming now. Coming? Yes. Okay. For the Okay. Yes, madam. You received the copy? We launched it, yes, yes, launched So here our FIR is at page number. I believe it's at page number seven. Page number seven. My Lord, in the present case, based on the FIR, 
So, madam, this uh, annexer B. Uh, here, the court below has observed that uh, material part of the investigation is almost over. Yes, yes, that's what you mentioned. So, you produce the case then? You In the you. meantime, let him uh, avail this uh, PRS bill. Interim PRS bill. Heard, Mr. Your good name? Yes, okay, madam. Yes? Yes, okay. A. S. Sophie. A. Sophie. A. Sophie. Yes, madam. A. Sophie, learned counsel for the applicant and also heard Ms. S. Mary, learned PP for the state respondent. Appearing arrest in connection with <coughs> Mokoksan PS case number. Mokoksan PS2 case number 3 of 24. Mokoksan PS case number. Mokoksan. Police two case number Roman two case number zero three of twenty twenty four under section three seventy nine thirty four IPC corresponding to zero case number zero seven of twenty twenty four this application under section four thirty eight services preferred by applicant Sri Soranjit Boru alias Siranjit Boru for grant of PRS bail. It is to be noted here that above noted case has been registered on the basis of an FIR lost by one. Sri Binoy Kumar, Captain, Adjutant for Commandant of 12 Assam Rifle on 8 to 2024. 
But uh, the essence of allegation made in the FIR dated so and so is that on 5 to 2024 at around 17 30 hours. Some miscreant committed theft of telephone wire put in bracket jellyfill cable installed from 12 Assam Rifle Battalion headquarters to Umma Helipet. Upon the said complaint, an inquiry was conducted by ASI Sangpang of PS2 Mukoksang and submitted a report on 21 to 2024. And apprehended three persons, namely Hirok Deka, no, no, three persons, namely uh, Binondo Puar, Lam Trili Sangtam, and Torun Roy. And during interrogation, they disclosed that one Siranji Boro and Hirok Deka are also involved. In committing theft of the cable. The learned counsel for the applicant submits that. The name of the applicant. Find no mention in the FIR, but. As per inquiry report submitted by the submitted by ASI Sangpang on 21 to 2024, it appears that the name of the present applicant is disclosed by the co accused, namely Binon Dokwar, Lamtreli Sangtam, and Torun Roy. And that the applicant is uh, ready to cooperate to the investigating agency. And he will appear before the IOS and when directed, and therefore it is contended to allow the petition. On the other hand, Ms. Mary Learned PP submits that the case that he may be called for, but having heard the submission of learned advocates of both sides. Perusal of the case area is found to be necessary. And accordingly, it is provided that the learned PP shall produce the case area before this court on. When, madam? Eight April, the launch. Eight April. Launch. Eight April. And considering the submission of learned advocates of both sides and also considering the facts and circumstances on the record, especially the order dated 14 3, 2024, passed by the learned chief judicial magistrate, Mukoksan, wherein the learned court below has observed that most of the investigation is completed. And as a custodial detention of the accused persons, namely Binondo Puar, Torun Roy, and Lamtril Sangtam, is not necessary. And thereafter, granted bail to them under Section 437 CRBC. And this court is accordingly inclined to extend the privilege of interim peers bail to the applicant till production of the case dairy. 
it is provided that in the event of arrest of the applicant in connection with Mukok Sang 2 PS case number 03 of 2024 under section 370 IPC. This court is no, 34 IPC. He shall be released on interim PRS bail on his executing a bond of rupees. Forty thousand with one surety of like amount to the satisfaction of the arresting authority. The above privilege is, however, subject to the following three conditions. Last condition: He shall not leave the jurisdiction of Chief Judicial Magistrate Mukok Sang without prior permission. This one. My Lord, it's an Pardon? Anonymous. Okay. 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 okay, okay. Same order. Okay. Any other matter? Okay. What's that? Put them top code. Yeah. Costly <laughs> ก็ครับครับที่ที่ใครสบายนะอืมเราไม่ได้ใช่ครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
हमारो दुई बजी देश दुई बजी दे
for admission item number 44. Yes, what instruction you have received? Hello, this is the this is of 10 November 2023. This is the professor's section by the department for ah. all possible. May I read my lord or I'll take the next. Where it is mentioned that uh, you are seeking approval from the government regarding this. Uh, Yes, my uh, compassionate appointment. My lord, here the last para at page number two. Page number two. Yes, the last para. There's no specific mention of a uh. It is therefore requested that concurrence to request appointment all new constables, GT male, and even in MT and NTPO or state intelligence in Nagaland police only into the NEP IR units against excessive vacancies of various units of Nagaland police may be communicated at the earliest. So it says all. And then my lot, the next page. This was a proposal sent by the department. Now the PNA has come within OEM. OEM dated 15 February 2020. Oh. Office memorandum. Mm -hmm. Subject guideline for filling up all non gadgeted posts, including uniform personal services under various departments outside the preview of NSSP. Mm -hmm. In process, the decision of the cabinet by so, so and so, dated 23rd January 2024, and in pursuance to PNR OEM number so and so, dated 26 10 2017, and all the subsequent OEMs on recruitment procedures issued thereafter, the uh, following recruitment guidelines are issued for strict compliance of all departments for recruitment of non gated posts that fall outside the preview of NSSP. Section A for posts falling under Group C. All direct vacancies arising in Group C posts, including vacancies in District offices of the department shall be filled up by the by our recruitment board consisting of the following members. So and so, so and so. My lord, this was a guideline issued by the PNEI. But subsequently, my lord, at page number four, five. Page number five. My lord, Governor of Nagaland, Personal and Administrative Reforms Department, Administrative Reform Branch, Nagaland Pohima. Office number so and so, dated 4 March 2024. Office memorandum, my lord. Married, my lord. The OIM of given number dated 15 February 2024 on the issue of evidence for filling up all non gazetted posts, including uniform including uniform police services under the various department outside the preview of SNSSP is hereby cancelled. So, in view of this OIM, the recruitment process cannot be initiated. Recruitment process? Yes. Recruitment process for to the post of constable for, for, to grade three and four post. Yes, could not be initiated. Since though we have sent a proposal to the government for conducting of recruitment process, mm. because the recruitment process will be only if the recruitment process is conducted, the number of vacancies will be calculated for direct recruitment and the remaining for the commissioned appointees because they are. Numbers of applicants who are, who are applying for commissioned appointments, but in view of this cancellation of this of the recruitment, mm. the department cannot go ahead with the recruitment process. And moreover, in view of the then, uh, enforcement you of you have the, to face the music, my lord. You ask your client to remain present in the court tomorrow. Well, in view of this, your, oh, we have nothing to do with your this office memorandum. No, my lord. We are this concerned is, with our order only. Yes, you have to lord. implement our order. Our come to the order of this order. This order, this honorable court in WBC number e, 21 of 2020 has directed the respondents to uh, appoint the petition <laughs> on commissioner account within two months, my lord. There, what happened was, at that point of time, the list of applicants were maintained by the respective units. Now, after 2019, the department has come up with a centralized list of applicants for commissioned appointments. No, we are my not lord. concerned with that. My lord, I, I'll, I'll come to implement that. a court order. Yes, my lord. I'm coming to that, my lord. My lord. After that, no, what no, happened no, no. was, oh. the department has come up with a list, new list of applicants, wherein the name of the petitioner was figured at cell number 56. 
66 in that list of 1922. Mm. His name was figured as serial number 66. And then he has to wait for his turn in, as for the list and then in the department. And then that list was challenged by the petitioner in WBC 115 of 2022. Mm. This was challenged by the petitioner. Mm. Mm. And then after that, this honorable court by judgment and order that 572023, this was of WBC 115 of 2023, setting aside the list dated 2022, where in the name of the petition was figured as cell number 66. No, the, uh, now, no, the some, that, and, some and substance of your submission is that you are not going to implement the order. No, we are going to implement. We are obviously going to implement. How, how and when? Well, as and when the recruitment process is initiated, as I am saying, the, no, 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 that 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 this office memorandum cannot stand in the way of implementing the order of the court. Yes, my lord. No, no. my lord. In, in view of the subsequent order in WBC 115 of 2023, mm. the, the court has this no, order. We, we are not side. concerned with uh, what order has been passed in other, other WPC. We are concerned with only this yes, my lord. contempt petition. For compliance, we have come up with a list. Mm. But her name was figured at seal number 66. Mm. So we said, like, since your name is 66, you have to wait for the turn. Mm. So being agreed, she has approached the No, board. was that the direction of this court? No. Then? But to consider, but because no, like, functional no. appointment has... We are, we are concerned with the order of this court. Then uh, you, you appraise this court when you are going to implement the order of this court. Otherwise, uh, it, yes, we, we will take stern action against you. In that case, my lord, I will give you some. I, I will come with the. Uh, I will address your lordship in that case. I'll get proper instructions as and when her case will be considered for appointment because we are going to consider her case. But in no, view of no, this no, order no, and in view no, of the, no, my lord, no, my excuse, no, my lord, excuse. and in view of this enforcement of the model code of conduct for the upcoming local no, uh, no, local no. election, also we cannot make no. special appointments. So we will consider her case. We are not saying we will not consider. We have never said we will not consider. When? After his death? No, my lord. Then? When? Within a short period of time, my lord. Just what short period of time? You specify before the court. When? My lord, in that case, I have just give you a few minutes. I'll get instructions as to when the department can, because I, as I on my behalf, I cannot say that I can give. No, it. that's a, a, a that time I have already given to you. You obtained the instruction from yes. your department. What is going on? Yes, my lord. But this, in view of this, as I, I no, no, we are not concerned with this. Yes, my lord. We are concerned with only our order. We are not concerned with this uh, uh, office memorandums and your proposals. The order of the court has nothing to do with this. No, no, we are only concerned with case the, for, you have to implement. Yes, it. we will implement uh, the court order within three months. Lord. Within three months? Yes, my lord. In that time, this contempt. Why, why, why three months? Because like when the court, order was passed, madam, when it was passed? It was passed on 14 2022. 2022. So, what is your submission? Three months' time? Lordship. And because the election is also coming. Yes, my lord. So, election code of conduct will be will remain till uh, declaration of result? Yes. In the, uh, in the meantime, we'll here, be My concern is that they have been saying the same thing over here. And then they are saying my name was shown at serial number 66 in the first place, mm. which I challenge. What they have done is, till then they have, they have uh, submitted before this or not before that, they have never appointed, though there is 50 percent for compassionate appointment, they have never appointed one, mm. even one compassionate appointment, mm. 50 percent. They are not. Mm. Uh, because uh, there's a bus ban on the No, no. Uh, Madam, no. let us do one thing. We record his submission that within three months, he will implement the order of this court. Since uh, election, it is uh, in, uh, code of conduct is in force now. Election will be on 26 April. No, that's so all right, but that... code of conduct will remain till declaration of the result. Yes. 
So result will be declared on 4th of June. 26th, uh, uh, I think June. It will be, it will be May. Yes, so the 26th April will be the last date for our... No, no, uh, result will be declared only in the month of June. Perhaps it is a uh, fourth June. Not sure. Mm. So uh, we have to wait till then. Not sure. And again, if they should be so, that is because they have been doing this uh, even previously. And just a little, uh, just a little clarification. <clears throat> they placed me at serial number 66 by uh, by showing the serial number of those who died 20, 30 years back mm. in the department. Mm. They collected all the data and in order to test me at serial number 66, way back in 1980s, 90s, who died without even... No, madam, I, you can advance that argument in that writ petition where he has challenged it. No, so uh, here uh, we are concerned with the implementation yes, yes, yes. of the order passed by this no, court. Mm. They are submitting before the Sonoma Court and in the even again, they don't believe that I will be your no, then we will see. Then okay. we will see. Heard Ms. Zed Jingomi, Learned Counsel for the Petitioner, and Mr. And Longkumar. And? Longkumar. Longkumar, Learned uh, Government Advocate. No, 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 I'm appearing for the Respondent number 2 and 3. Respondent number? 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Respondent number 2 and 3. And who appeared for the rest of the? Respondent number two. Three and four. You are appearing for three and four. No, one and two. This one. No. Uh, one and two. Oh, oh. Only one no, respondent no. is there, the DGP. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm appearing for the DGP. Respondent number one. Respondent number two. Yes. Respondent number two. You are not government advocate. No, my lord. You are retainer counsel. Yes, I'm engaged for this case. Of the uh, police department? Yes, only for this case. Yes, for this case. Mr. L Lankumar, learned counsel for the respondent number two, submits that no. the order of this court dated 14 to 2020. Passed in WPC number 21K of 2020 will be implemented within three months from today. As the model code of conduct for the general election is already in force. But having considered, no, having Considered the assurance given by Mr. Lankumar, this court is inclined to direct the registry to list the matter on 10th of June. 10th of June. No, uh, Or thereafter. Fourteen. Uh, tenth of tenth of June, don't you? Tenth of June. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, three months, man, man. From the three months from the day, we came three months. Today. Yes, yes, from today, three months from the day. Yes, today is twenty sixth. So twenty sixth of June. Twenty fourth June. Okay, twenty four June. It is a, uh, it is, it is, it is provided that no further time will be granted to the uh, respondent number two in implementing the order of this court. Oh, yeah. 